This is Brian Castles for Lattice Semiconductor. I'm going to give you a very brief express overview of the new Lattice Diamond software. Lattice Diamond is a next generation replacement for ISP Lever. Here's the start page, which gives me information such as helpful links to documentation and a start page where I can open existing projects or import projects from ISP Lever. So let's open an existing project. Here you can see the new user interface. It has uh, common places for menus, uh, icons, and various tasks. By default, I get a report page, which gives me a single convenient place for looking all my reports in my design. So a single consolidated places for viewing all your reports, such as map, place and route, etc. I've got an output panel, which shows me output from any processes that run, warnings, errors, and even a TCL console where I can type in TCL commands. I have system-wide views such as my process view, which shows me all the processes that can run. And a new file list tab, which shows me the expanded projects that are now available in Diamond software, including new concepts such as implementations, which let me control multiple versions of the structure of my design in a single project, and strategies, which are basically recipes for implementing how I want to implement the design. I can mix source types, both Feeshell, Verilog, and Edif. And the strategies give me a single convenient place where I can change all the options in my design. The user interface has several new capabilities, including being able to detach windows and reattach them. I can also control my window layout by opening several views here. So open the package view and the netlist view. And if I want to be able to see windows side by side, say for assigning netlist, I can split the tab group and be able to very easily drop and drag elements across to them. I can also reintegrate the windows and I can move panels around to arrange the UI lay layout the way I want it to be. I can also take and save these layouts and manage them and reload them later when I want to use them. Diamond adds several new important views. I'll take and generate the hierarchy of my design here. And now I have an HDL diagram view which shows me the structure of my design. In addition, I get a module view, and a dictionary view, and a hierarchy view. And the hierarchy view, besides showing me the whole hierarchy, lets me do things like look at my source code, where it's instantiated, generate a uh, test bench template, be able to generate schematic symbols, and change the top level of my design. In addition, I have several new views available. One is Run Manager. Run Manager allows me to use those multiple implementations you saw previously in the project and be able to run them in parallel. Run Manager can also take advantage of the hardware you run this on and can use multi-core processors to run implementations in parallel. Since all my tool views are integrated into a single diamond framework, I also get additional capabilities, such as the ability to cross-probe between the views. So here I'll launch the uh, floor planner and the physical view. And I can use capabilities such as selecting a signal and being able to show it in another view. So significant integration advantages inside of Diamond. In addition, I have several all new views such as ECO editor which gives me a safe, convenient place to make changes to the NCD netlist after place and route. Another new view is Programmer, which gives me a convenient place to take and program the device directly from the Diamond framework. And a new fast timing analysis loop from a new timing analysis view. The timing analysis view, besides giving me a very convenient graphical way to view all the information I'm used to in my trace report, so in addition I can see a trace report, I can also see a, a graphic schematic path of my timing path, but in addition I have a very fast timing analysis loop without having to re-implement or remap my design. I can very easily take and bring up my timing preferences. I can change this to a very high frequency, 
I can now go back to my timing analysis view and rerun the timing analysis directly without having to remap my design and very quickly see the results of that. And here you can see the results. I've got a timing path, which now which is high frequency, does not meet timing, and you can see that highlighted in red here showing you the negative slack numbers. So a great new capability to do faster timing analysis loops to aid in timing closure in Diamond. In addition, in Diamond, you no longer have different views for uh, pre-map views or post-map views or post-par views. Now all the tool views reflect the available data. So here you can see the spreadsheet view. You can see signals that are pins that have been assigned by the place and route process. If I take and go back and rerun my stage back before map, you can see that it takes an updates with the available data and shows the pins that are not assigned because that information is not currently available. So a great new capability in Diamond. And lastly, Diamond features advanced TCL scripting capabilities not available in ISP Lever. So if we go to our TCL console tab, I can do things like uh, get help from a system. I can also look at help on very specific TCL commands. The Lattice Diamond software is available as a free download and license from the Lattice website for popular devices such as Mach XO, XP2, and ECP2. In addition, the Diamond subscription edition license adds support for larger devices such as ECP3 and adds advanced simulation capabilities and allows you to run both the Diamond and ISP Lever software from a single license. This has been a very brief overview demo on the Diamond software. I encourage you to see some of the other videos that show you in-depth information in specific areas.